outer space never ceases to astound us. Whether it's with the discovery of a bar in the universe or additional liquid on the moon, Today, let's start our journey exploring 24 things about outer space that no school has ever mentioned before. Some of them might be pretty shocking, so buckle your seat. Without further ado, let's start. The Sun is bigger than you can even imagine. When you gaze up into the night sky to observe the Sun shining down at you, it can be hard to imagine how enormous the Sun actually is. Think of it this way. According to NASA, it can house approximately 1 million Earths within its confines, without feeling cramped. In addition, the Sun is the primary source of energy that sustains life on Earth. Without it, we would be trembling in the darkness. The Sun's center generates an amount of energy equal to 100 billion nuclear explosions. Hot ice is a thing. Gliese 436 b is the name of an extrasolar planet located approximately 33 light-years away. What makes this planet particularly fascinating is the fact that it contains different types of water that combine to form something called burning ice. Now, you might be wondering what that is. Well, it's a type of ice that doesn't melt, even though it's surrounded by intense heat. The reason for this is that the force on the planet is so strong that it keeps the ice in place, despite the high surface temperature of a scorching 570 degrees Fahrenheit 300 degrees Celsius. However, this extreme heat does cause the moisture to evaporate into steam, which is pretty cool if you think about it. Imagine trying to warm your coffee by adding ice to it, but instead of melting, the ice turns into steam because the coffee is just too hot. That's kind of what's happening on Glias 436b. There's a bar in the sky. It could be fantasy or a total disaster to bartenders. Still, far above our biosphere is a gaseous cloud formed from alcohol that is approximately 1,000 times larger than the radius of our whole solar system. There is sufficient alcohol to make approximately 400 septillion beer gallons 400 with 24 zeros. To give it some context, it would be enough alcohol to serve 300,000 gallons of beer to each and every person living on the Earth every single day for a billion years. Walking in space might cause you to crave steak. After returning from a space mission, space crew members have reported smelling various smells on their protective suits, spanning from the scent of steel to that of a charcoal broiled steak. This is because of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, often known as PAHs, which are the byproducts of dead stars. PAHs are also produced when fuels such as charcoal, lumber, petrol, and, you guessed it, meat cooked over charcoal are burned. There's a lot of trash out there. There may be a great deal of rubbish piling into garbage dumps on Earth, but there's also over a million scum floating in space around our planet. Space debris poses a significant concern, and even something as negligible as a safety pin can cause mayhem on our satellite network. If this happens, you may not be able to access Netflix and other more severe problems, such as disrupting the global security infrastructure. There is no particularly effective method for purifying space at the moment, but astrophysicists are working on finding a solution. Raspberries and rum in space. Okay, so you can't exactly go out and pick raspberries in space, at least not just yet. Yet as it turns out, the primary ingredient responsible for the peculiar taste of raspberries is ethyl formate. In 2009, scientists detected this substance in the Milky Way. In addition, ethyl formate is an element found in rum. Nevertheless, it is quite improbable that you will ever be capable of purchasing rum and coke anywhere in the cosmos. Notably, given that alcohol is among the things that are prohibited from being brought into space. Stargazing is almost like looking into the past. Because stars are so far from Earth, and it takes so much time for the light from those constellations to reach us, the star you're staring at may have already ended its life. An excellent illustration of this can be found in the Pillars of Formation, which belong to an area known as the Eagle Nebula, 
and are located 7,000 light years away from Earth. The Hubble Space Telescope captured a picture of those pillar-like ash and vapor clouds for the first time in 1995, but in reality, they had been obliterated by a neutron star 6,000 years earlier. The photo that Hubble took in 1995 gives us a glimpse of how the pillars of creation appeared approximately 70 centuries prior. The best part is that these already dead stars are uncommon, which means that most celestial bodies are still functioning normally and will continue to do so for a couple extra billion years. Lose weight by planet hopping Do you know that if you weigh 140 pounds, you'd be equivalent to approximately 53 pounds on Mercury? The planet's gravity pull is responsible for the sudden shift in body mass, which you can understand without getting bogged down in complex arithmetic. That's because the amount of matter that makes up your body stays the same no matter where you are in the solar system. But the gravitational pull at your current location affects how your weight is measured. The gravitational field varies from place to place. Because Mercury's gravitational forces are weaker than Earth's, you would have a lower weight. If the gravitational pull is stronger than that of Earth, then you will naturally have a heavier weight. Move over, moon rocks. It is unnecessary to make a trip to Mars to get a memento from the universe. Scientists found evidence that some stones originated on Mars when researchers examined meteors from the Sahara and Arctic regions here on Earth. Poor Pluto. Pluto was summarily dismissed from the roster of full-sized planets that we currently believe to be a portion of our planetary system. The International Astronomical Union downgraded Pluto to a planetoid in 2006, which angered astronomers, horoscope enthusiasts, and many stargazers. Pluto was demoted from planet status because it is only about half the size of the United States. It is significantly smaller than the other planets within the solar scheme that hold the same prestige as Pluto. A long trip. The last time our planetary system was in the exact location in the Milky Way as it is now was when the oldest dinosaurs began to inhabit the planet. This is because our planet requires a mind-boggling 230 million years to finish just one complete circle across the Milky Way. That really makes things seem shorter when we think about how long the day has been. That's a lot, right? While there are even more myths that scientists are working on, the facts above clearly have turned you into an expert in everyone's eyes. Want to learn more? Like and subscribe for more videos like this.